Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Heart, heart, heart. Love you all. Hope you all are doing great on this beautiful red heart day. Happy, happy Valentine's Day. Yes, roses and candy and just love letters, all sorts of love, love, lovely things are going on today. I hope that you are enjoying Valentine's Day. And, you know, when I was single, um, you know, and didn't have anyone to share Valentine's Day, the Lord just always assured me that he was my love. And he always blessed me with someone giving me some flowers. You know, just not, not gigantic bouquets or anything, but just something simple and just a little touch of saying, hey, I'm thinking of you and I love you. So to you, I'm thinking of you and I love you. I hope that you are receiving all of God's goodness and all of his love in your life. Today, as you can see, I have this beautiful, um, it was from Google Images, it was free. I just thought, isn't this beautiful? It's like bubbles, bubbles of hearts. And uh, I don't know, I feel like a love song should be playing behind me. <laughs> anyway, that's not what we're here for. We're here for the word. <laughs> Let's get into God's word, okay? All right. Starting with Joel Olstein's The Power of I Am. Today's title is All Things Are Possible. Then Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and all the night the Lord drove the sea back with a strong east wind and turned it into dry land. The waters were divided. That's from Exodus 14:21. God can resurrect dead dreams. He can resurrect a dead marriage. He can resurrect health that's going down or a business that's failing. When you get in agreement with God, all things are possible. You may be facing a big obstacle. It doesn't look good, but here's the key. Don't talk about the size of the problem. Talk about the size of your God. There was a day when God stopped the sun for Joshua. He parted the Red Sea for the Israelites. He breathed new life into the mother's little boy. He can turn your situation around as well. He can make a way even though when you don't see a way. My challenge today is don't let your negative words stop what God wants to do. Don't be snared by your words. Amen. The word. Thank you, God, for your powerful, your powerfulness. I mean, you are so amazing. You have parted the Red Sea. You've you've healed the sick. You've healed the blind. You've risen the dead many, many times. So remember those words. All things are possible. Praise the Lord. Okay, and then now for the Holy Bible, I am going to be reading Psalms 9, 9, and 10. The Lord also will be a refuge for the oppressed, a refuge in times of trouble. And they that know thy name will put their trust in thee, for thou, Lord, has not forsaken them, that seek thee, the word of the Lord. Thank you, God, for not forsaking us because we do seek you. Thank you so much for taking us, being our refuge in the times of trouble, in the times of oppression. Run to God. Whatever you're going through and it's really tough, go to God. He will help you. Okay. And now, for David C. Hebner's Clear My Vision. He puts a little of heaven in our hearts so that we'll never settle for less. Christ's love has moved me in such extremes. 
His love has the first and last word in everything we do. That's from 2 Corinthians 5 and 14. God's love is all about passion, not about effort or performance. We don't try to serve him. His love drives us to desire to serve and the love we lavish on him and others come out of the overflow of his love for us. His love instills the longing for heaven, for eternity, deep in our hearts so that we may never settle for the cheap substitute for addictions that try to entrap us. Our true home, the place where we really belong, is with God. His love, the wonder of this world, will also be the wonder of the next when we are able to truly know him. Amen. Thank you. That's beautiful. And the prayer here today is, Lord, you are the beginning and the end of my passion for living. I live to serve you and only you. Everything I do is not to perform, but to share your love. I can hardly wait for the moment when I finally see you face to face. Thank you for putting a longing for that moment in my heart so that I will never settle for the world's cheap imitation of joy. Until then, I want your love to have the first and last word in everything I do. Oh, amen. Praise God. That is so beautiful. That really touched my heart because I amen this and resonate with this because I do, I love God so, so much. And I do look forward to seeing him face to face someday when it's my time to go home and spend eternity with him. What joy that will be. So no, if you guys are left behind and, I'm, and I go home, do not be sad for me. That's when you should be glorifying God and saying, hey, she's done the work that she was supposed to do on this earth. And it's time for her to go home and have eternal joy, eternal and, and eternally praise the Lord. I desire to be a worshiper in heaven. I want to just sing all day, all night, till eternity, glorifying God. That's where I desire to be. <laughs> all right, let's pray. Heavenly Father, God, thank you so much for your love. Happy Valentine's Day, Abba. Oh, my gosh. Without you, God, none of us would know love. You created us. You created our hearts. You created feelings, emotions, and passion, and love. You love us so much that you gave your one and only begotten son to come on this earth, leaving the throne, to be with us, to show us how to walk this world in this world, how to talk the talk. God, thank you so much. And thank you, Jesus, for loving us so much that you died on this, died on that horrible cross for us. We could never repay you or thank you enough for all that you have done for us. But what we can do is worship you and honor you and glorify you and worship 24-7, Lord. We will sing a new song unto you because you are so worthy. Happy Valentine's Day. We love you in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, my brothers and sisters in Christ, may your day be sweet with the candy that you love, Godiva, Ferrero Rocher, whatever it may be, a Kit Kat perhaps. Enjoy. Enjoy the sweet, loving Valentine's Day. And know that God loves you so, so much. Until then, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.